I'm Tim Robbins, and I'm reading Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 for Audible.com. I love this book. Fahrenheit 451 is such an important book in so many ways. And it's so great to revisit it, too, because the narrative for society has not changed that much from when uh, Bradbury was uh, imagining it, using entertainment as distraction, distracting people away from issues that matter and, and things that matter about the human condition. And with our recent influx of electronic devices that have further distracted us, the book uh, becomes much, and much more relevant. So, a book is a loaded gun in the house next door. Burn it. Take the shot from the weapon. Breach man's mind. And so when houses were finally fireproof completely all over the world, you were correct in your assumption the other night. There was no longer need of firemen for the old purposes. They were given the new job as custodians of our peace of mind, the focus of our understandable and rightful dread of being inferior. Official censors, judges, and executors. That's you, Montag. And that's me. This particular society wanted to get rid of books because it was providing too much dissent. You have the, the character of the young girl who is labeled insane because she takes time to ponder and to look deeper at things in life. When you read a book and you are able to use your mind, you are more dangerous to those in power. But for all its dystopian nature, there's a great hope in the book as well. And the hope is in words and in continuing to carry on the tradition of literature. When you're doing an audiobook, it's uh, such a great opportunity to be able to do a longer form of the telling of the story. You get to play all the characters and do all the different voices. And I find it very uh, satisfying to be able to uh, go from the beginning to the end of the form, you know. The whole format of audiobooks is, in a way, making sure that Fahrenheit 451 doesn't happen. It's creating a, another way for literature to survive. If the audiobook is heard, more people will discover what is a great book.